Welcome to this new video. Um, I have a little bit of time before I go back to work tomorrow, so I decided to record a video. I was about to, you know, uh, make a new outfit to sell on TV and Tart, and I was like, okay, let me just make a video about it. No, everyone knows about it. I think it's very cute. Um, I might be doing something that might come to bite me in the bottom later but um, I thought it was fun so so for those of you who do not know what uh, an outfit uh, a adoptable outfit is um, it is something like this like this like this and like this this one has been sold this one is not this one is sold this one is not anyway so basically, um, on DeviantArt you have the option to sell adoptables, as you know, uh, I to sell adoptable outfits, which basically mean that I make an outfit. Sorry, you can hear my... Okay, sorry about the weird interruption, but my... Um... You can still hear them. Okay, so I don't know where I was, but... Basically, you can make an outfit and then you can adopt, make people adopt it, which means you make an outfit, like a paper doll outfit, and then you give other permission to buy it and therefore permission to either resell it or use it. Uh, very much like you would do with a t-shirt. You go, you buy the t-shirt, you wear the t-shirt, or you decide to, you know, resell the t-shirt as a as, with a lower price in theory um and whatever so i've made a couple of outfits in the past i used to use another a different base uh for my outfits but i decided to stick with one base a year unless i'm doing like a ych type of outfit sale but in this case this she's our model and she's basically our paper doll um, I used to use her last year and yeah, I changed also this outfit is still up for sale if I remember correctly But anyway, <laughs> back to topic. So what do we do? Well, how I do and my Neighbors are still screaming in the stairs So the way I do it is I've already drawn a base right I since I'm planning on posting this on YouTube I've added lingerie so Brian Pandas but yeah I, as you can see here I do have my base color my base liner and then the Brian Panda right so I you can either have uh, like um, a, a, a friend or something that you're following for your dresses or not you can either like draw whatever you want or have an idea so the idea that I'm currently drawing is I made sorry I made a water inspired gown a fire inspired gown and now I'm gonna make a hair air inspired gown and then I will make um, uh, hurt inspired gown so uh, as you can see with the with both of the gowns that I've made and they're they're sold by the way um, I did maintain like the same shape and the same uh, kind of style just with different elements because I wanted it to be somewhat coherent more like more or less like I'm my also my laundry machine is going off sorry wait a second so yeah more or less like some sort of uh, collection uh, if you want to talk thinking if you want to think about it that way but yeah so this one was gonna be hair inspired um, I will still keep like this type of design and this type of shape for the dress because I want it to be coherent so here, if we think about air, with uh, well, if I think about air, I do also think about wings and birds and stuff like that, right? So, what I'm thinking of doing is something uh, very much like 
windy <laughs> or wingy um, so I'm gonna you know do things in a way that reminds me of wings and stuff like that so I will lower the opacity on the base layer so that I can see what I'm doing and then I will just start drawing at this point I don't have anything specific in mind because until I um, until I fully render it like well render it I'm not even doing that but uh, until I completely color it and stuff like that um, I don't really mind to change things that I don't like like this I just did it but I don't like it I will just oh, I will just take it out and the reason why I'm um, using the transparent color and the pen tool to basically erase is just because I am using the reflecting so you know it's easier to to do so I don't really I don't know we'll see also I am not the best at drawing wings and stuff like that so I don't have too much faith in what's gonna come out of this to be honest with you but uh, we'll see eventually. But yeah, I want to, it to be very feminine, very. Which, by the way, what is feminine? But you get it. I want it to be feathery and stuff like that, right? So, also, yes, I have a little bit of an obsession with saving. Um, so. Yeah, this might take a little bit, um, so I'm sorry if you get bored, but it is what it is. So, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna. Also, I do like very structured gowns, um, even though being a feathery thing, I could go by by doing something not as structured but I like it so she will have a corset or some of some kind I will maybe feather up mm, I don't like that right, so uh, on this one I did not but on this one she's an open open parts uh, being that it's hair air related i might do that as well here uh, like so which means this goes away but then i need to rethink that because if i want it to snatch the way the the waist it needs somewhere to you know grip i can also like extend this maybe a little bit maybe we'll see how it goes kind of yeah <clears throat> I don't like this part to be honest with you so just take it off uh, I'm thinking about doing something more like so and also like I want it to be a little breezy as well because you know feathers and these kind of things it's not coherent at the top okay. 
What's that? No, I don't like it. So it's gonna go away. This is much better. Um, what do we think about when we talk about air, birds, sky, clouds, clouds, I guess, as well? Also, yes, I do use my, um, like, the tool to, you know, so that I can draw on both sides at the same time, because it's way easier, it saves me so much time, and it's an outfit that I'm gonna sell uh, soon, in, uh, hopefully soon. So, like, in all the other dresses i did something like this so we're gonna do it here as well but i'm gonna take a different approach meaning it will be probably low t in like this but with some feathers as well because it's needed, right? Feathers um, should come from here, so... And yes, I'm connecting like the air with birds at this point. <laughs> and it's fine, okay? It's fine. Maybe. And yes, I do take away the base uh, sometimes so that I can see uh, the, the thing more clearly. But yeah, I will do everything and speed up. I would probably like insert my um, speed painting process here. So now the difference, the big difference between this dress and the other two that I made, this one and this one, is the tackiness, in my opinion. It's very tacky, it's very powerful, very fancy thingy. So the thing that we're gonna do now is put gold threads all over it.
we're gonna look at like it's called train Very demure, very cutesy. Things talking about. Will it be like that forever? Oh. But I don't really feel like this helps. I'm missing. And this is the final base. Now we just put everything. Well, the final product. We just need to basically do this. Fell savers. PNG. Record the Studio paint, yes. Like so we're gonna reopen this. This is something that I usually do. Maybe 
Ne zaman önce doğru? together lower over the under and we do this and we do this oops this and this gonna be brighter because otherwise you won't be able to see it Not the best option because you can't really see the thing. I'll just put it here and over it. Like so. Okay. We save it. We save as PNG. Good. Like so. And we made a deep uh, outfit adoptable. This is the final result of the page that I will be posting. Yes, whoever buys this will have complete asset access to the outfit. And yeah, it was a pleasure talking to you. I will see if I can speed up the thing. I don't know, but yeah, love you. Bye 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 bye.